Understanding Religious Roles, English Language Learning Series. Hello, English language learners. Welcome to our series on describing people in conversational English. Today, we will be focusing on the topic of religious roles. Whether you're trying to understand a news article, read a novel, or simply want to expand your English vocabulary, knowing how to describe various religious roles can be extremely useful. So, let's get started. Before we dive into specific roles, let's understand what we mean by religious roles. Religious roles refer to the different positions or jobs that people hold within various religious organizations or communities. These roles often come with specific duties, responsibilities, or rituals. Now, let's learn some common religious roles in English. Please repeat after me to practice pronunciation. 1. Priest, a person, usually male, who performs religious ceremonies in some Christian churches. 2. Pastor, a person who leads a congregation in Protestant churches. 3. Rabbi, a religious leader in Judaism. 4. Imam, a person who leads prayers in a mosque, in Islam. 5. Monk, nun, a man, woman who lives in a religious community usually isolated from the outside world, often in Christianity or Buddhism. 6. Bishop, a high-ranking Christian clergy member, responsible for teaching Christian faith and overseeing churches. 7. Cardinal, a senior official in the Roman Catholic Church, appointed by the Pope. 8. Pope, the head of the Roman Catholic Church. 9. Guru, a spiritual teacher, especially in Hinduism, Sikhism, and Buddhism. Great job on pronunciation! Now, let's see how to use these words in sentences. 1. The priest conducted the wedding ceremony. 2. Our local pastor gives inspiring sermons every Sunday. 3. The rabbi taught us about the history of Judaism. 4. The Imam leads the prayers during Ramadan. 5. The monk spends most of his time in meditation. 6. The bishop visited our school to talk about the importance of faith. 7. The cardinal has served the church for over 40 years. 8. The pope is visiting Brazil next month. 9. She went to India to study yoga with a guru. Well done! Everyone, today we learned about religious roles and how to describe them in English. Remember, the key to mastering a new language is practice, so don't hesitate to use these words in your daily conversations or in your English writing. We hope this lesson has been helpful. Stay tuned for more lessons in our Describing People series. Keep practicing and see you soon!